Hi, it's Steve from uh, Paladino Power Project and uh, bringing you a video uh, to uh, look at and discuss a really short um, repetitions or sprints or what have you uh, from power perspective and also from the watch slash lap perspective. Um, so the first thing to understand, and, and this this workout is a uh, eight time fifteen eight times fifteen second hill repeat. You can see the little hills here. Uh, here, let me just let me just zoom on that. All right, so you can see the hills uh, are depicted here. Eight times fifteen second hill repeats. The uh, Realize that uh, run power devices have some smoothing built into their algorithm, and there's also some lag, um, you know, from uh, hitting a lap button or lap button automatically going off uh, to when it ends. And so that let let me a picture is worth a thousand words. Let me show you. So this was uh, the first rep. And you can see it highlighted here. Um, but let's take a look at it a little bit closer. I'm going uh, to highlight that, that whole um, power uh, peak from before it started to after it ended. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come over here to this one, this uh, particular dashboard. And I'm going to zoom, zoom in on it. So um, there's the selection. All right. So it's the same power peak as what we're seeing here for that first one. Um, and now let me show you. There's, the, there's what it looks like. If I take lap three, and this, so this is the lap button, there it is. So you can see that. The, there's some lag after the lap button was hit, and, and I'm pretty sure that the athlete does a, a short run into the hill as he should, um, as opposed to starting from from a standing you know position. So there is a little bit of a flying start, but even then there's some lag and, and because of the smoothing. So you can see that power. Uh, extends here that, so there's a lag going in on the front side and there's a lag on the back side so if you wanted to truly uh, analyze this you would come in and manually select so the highest power segment for this is about that and that's 15 seconds so that's that's basically what he did so that's a 15 second uh, segment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this as um, uh, uh, number one um, uh, selected. All right, just just for purposes of the video. All right, so there is the actual lap based on the watch. This is my selection. Now, I could have also selected this one, which is also a 15-second segment. And I'm going to put this, uh, I'll save it as uh, number one, selection B. So it's just another option. So I don't do this for every single one. I, I, I do what like I did in the first one. I look at, okay, what's the highest power segment? So what I have is, that's the watch. This is the one that I selected as the highest uh, average power. It also captures the peak. And then this is an alternate way of, of selecting that same 15 second segment. Um, this one captured the peak. Now there are some that the peak power happens in this lag period and um, it doesn't it, the peak isn't even captured here. So uh, nevertheless, let's go look and see 
what those different selections look like, the lap versus, versus the uh, selection A and selection B. This is selection A. Actually, let me change that name. Uh, we're going to call it selection A. All right. All right, so now let's look at those three. This is, once again, that's number one right here. And so in terms of average power, the, the watch lap, only captured uh, would would say there's an average power of 456 watts, and the uh, selection A was 570. That was my eyeballing what I thought was the highest average power segment, 15 second segment, and then selection B was uh, 563. All right, they're all you know essentially 15 seconds. This is the lap. Um, and in terms of uh, uh, speed, um, this one was the highest. This one was the slowest. Um, so th this one would have captured the, the, the speed better, uh, selection B. But in terms of power for, for 15 seconds, um, it was that first selection. I'm going to do one other look at this. Uh, this particular chart is a uh, max power, so it captures the peak. Remember, all 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 three of those different selections: the lap, the watch lap, uh, my first selection, second selection, all capture peak power. So there it is uh, the, on the peak power. Um, but the average power was highest in the the, the one that I uh, manually selected. So uh, what? The point is, is that uh, for very short segments, even even one minute reps, even one minute reps, that lag can can uh, have some effect on the average power that's reported. Uh, you know that lag may be three to five seconds on both sides. So even even up to a one minute rep, um, I suggest that you manually select to, to truly capture what the, the average power was for that, that uh, duration, that segment duration. Um, so hopefully this, this helps. Um, remember, again, uh, use the manual selection, not what the lap is recorded by the watch. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.